Hello students, today we are going to go over another rule, our double consonant suffix rule. So here we have the word run. When you're going to add a suffix to a word that has one consonant at the end and it has a short vowel, you double the consonant before adding your suffix that has a vowel sound. So here is our suffix. Here we have our root word and it says run. Now at the end of this word we only have one consonant which is the N and we have a short vowel. So since we have a short vowel, we have one consonant and our suffix starts with a vowel, we double our consonant and make another N. So this word would be running, running. This is our root word. This is our suffix. We do not underline this because this is not part of our root word. Our root word is just run. But when you're adding a suffix with a vowel in the beginning, the vowel is in the beginning, we double our consonant to make the new word, running. So here's another example. We have a short vowel, ha, and we have one consonant, and we're going to add a suffix that begins with a vowel, so we're going to double our consonant. We're going to put another P, so this word becomes Hopping. These are short, and we double the consonant. Hopping. Running. Hopping. Now here we have the word let. It is a short vowel. We have one consonant at the end, and we're going to add a suffix that begins with a vowel. So we're going to double the consonant, so we will get letting, letting. Now with these, this is our, these are our root words. These are our suffix, suffixes. The P and the T are only added when you're adding a suffix that begins with a vowel and you have a short sound vowel with one consonant at the end of the word. Here we have stop, stop. Now we have our short vowel and we have one consonant at the end of our word and we're going to add a suffix that begins with a vowel. So we're going to add another P. So we will get stopping. Now here we have two consonants, but that's not our rule. Our rule is it has to have a short vowel and it has to have one consonant at the end of our root word, which it does. So we add the extra P, add our suffix that begins with a vowel, and we have stop off offing. Stop off offing. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of words that you do not double the consonant, even though it has a short vowel in it. So we have the word lift and 
walk. Lift does have a short vowel, but we have one, two consonants. So we do not add a double consonant. We only add our suffix. Lifting, lifting. Here we have lock. It is short, but it has two consonants. So we do not double the consonant. It's just Locking, locking. You only double the consonant when you have one consonant at the end of a word and a short vowel before it. A short vowel, one consonant, and we're adding a suffix that begins with a vowel. So you double the consonant and you get running, running. This, students, is our double consonant suffix rule. When you see a word that has a short vowel and one consonant at the end of that word, and you're going to add a suffix that begins with a vowel, you double the consonant and get your new word. If it has the two consonants, you do not add a double consonant. You leave it as it is and add your suffix. All right? Very good, students. I will see you next time. Bye.